Now that you've finished painting your piece, it's time to talk about how you're going to seal it. That's called top coat. What you're putting on over the paint to protect all your hard work. And we sell four top coats. We sell Guard Dog in matte and satin, in pints and quartz, and we sell Show Dog in pints and quartz, also in matte and satin sheens. Now, what's the difference between Show Dog and Guard Dog? Guard Dog has more polyurethane in it and has the possibility of ambering over light colors, white, pastels, that sort of thing. Anything with a yellow tint to it, you don't have to worry about, like Caution Dogs at Work or Baby I'm Amazed. But a pure white, you're gonna wanna use Show Dog. And Show Dog has the clearest of the clear properties in it. It has some urethane in it, but not as much as Guard Dog does. Now, are they both have the same level of durability? Yes. Guard Dog, of course, with the more urethane, is going to have it be a little beefier. But Show Dog has worn well for me also. Now, matte and satin. Satin has a low sheen. Um, middle of the road, it's the industry standard. Matte was developed to give the appearance of a waxed finish or an older um, distressed finish. Can you wax over our paint? Yes. I use a product called Natchez Solution and it's heat emulsified so it won't separate. I have used this over the paint when I wanted a wax solution. It goes into the paint, you brush it on, you leave it on, and then you buff off any excess. And you can reapply it as you need. For those of you that like wax, of course you can wax over our paint. Just remember that a wax surface can't really be cleaned. When you clean with any type of chemicals or soap, you're loosening the wax, you're removing the wax. So be aware of the fact that if you want to walk away from that project and know that you're done with it, I highly suggest you use either Guard Dog or Show Dog. I have had excellent results with the Natchez solution as far as durability and the fact that I can reapply it and very simple. There's no odor to this. You can even use this on your cutting boards, your wooden spoons. It's food safe. Now for outside use, if you want to paint your front door with Black Dog Salvage Furniture Paint, then you want to go with an exterior top coat. We sell crab coat for that purpose. It's like a spar varnish. It's water-based, no odor and it's brushable and or sprayable, as are both of our top coats, both brushable or sprayable. This, because you're doing an exterior um, application, you need to layer it, and you need to use three to five layers. You have to wait for two hours between each layer. And why do you have to put so many layers? Because the sun's gonna take one off a year. If you put five layers down and you don't get back to reapplying your top coat for two years, you're good to go. Just remember that you lose one layer of exterior top coat every year. Now, what about brushing versus spraying? Well, if it's a large project, I'm gonna spray. And you can dilute it a little bit, again, with distilled water. I highly recommend a minimum of two coats. If it's a tabletop, I would do three, just for protection. Now, I'm gonna open a can and show you what it looks like. Remember, with any top coat, not just our top coat, you never shake it. You always stir. If you shake a top coat, you will aerate it. What does that mean? You're gonna introduce air, and you're not going to see it. it. It's very deceiving. You won't see it till it dries, and then you go, where did all those bubbles come from? It didn't look like that when I laid it down. It's because it was shook. So you stir. Now, this looks really thin, but it's not. This is your sheen and your self-leveling component. It needs to be mixed in. I need to be able to stir this 
till I cannot feel or find any lumps in the top coat. Just because you open it up and you put the stir stick in, you need to scrape that bottom. The top coat actually takes longer to mix than the paint itself. And you want to make sure that you get it completely emulsified. All those parts and particles. See, I've still got some. Turn the radio on to the channel you like <laughs> and get your cup of coffee and plan on sitting here until you get it completely mixed. Please allow 24 hours between painting and top coating. Why? Because you're working with two water-based products and you don't want to rehydrate your, bed, your base paint. Once you've stirred your top coat completely, you can brush it, like I said, or you can spray it. So, I'm going to apply a little top coat to this paint stick so that I can use it on the selling floor and show not just the color, but also the sheen. I've stirred my top coat well. I'm using a natural bristle brush. You may want to invest in a good quality top coat brush. I'm just going to apply the top coat. I go in one direction, lay it down, let it lie and dry. And I'll probably put a second coat on it after it dries. How long do you have to wait between coats? I'd give it a, min a minimum of two hours and preferably a day if you can. And that will ensure that your base coat is dry. Good luck.